weather portion of Ag Week now, and we are approaching the middle part of June in this forecast period with a little arm, you might say, of hot weather sticking up through the Great Plains, but it won't last. The warm weather will be pushed back by a little meandering jet stream, and that's something that often happens in June. We get summery temperatures in June, but we get a jet stream that still thinks it's springtime this time of year. So it goes up and down, and we can get temporary cool weather intrusions. But generally speaking, the heat will stay mostly pretty far south where it's been. Texas will continue to be parched. Panhandle region will as well. But the warm weather will sag a little southward, and overall, the country is going to be a little bit milder top to bottom over the next week or so. The cooler weather will remain pretty far up north. Heading into the second week, which is truly the middle part of June, there will be a shift in the jet stream, which I think will pull some fairly hot weather back up into the southwest temporarily. And then our meandering jet is expected to bring a bit of cool weather into the northern plains as a low pressure trough develops. That could bring some late June rainfall as well. Stormy weather around the region, uh, moving out of the region uh, tonight, tomorrow, in through Sunday night, Monday, and then out of the uh, northern plains region. Elsewhere, there's going to be a lot of rain in the southeast. It's been wet there. This week will be another wet week in the southeast. A couple of weather systems will bring scattered showers and storms from time to time, and we're not skipping the Corn Belt either. There will be a few periods of showers and thunderstorms around uh, many areas of the central and western corn belt as well. The second week precipitation wise is going to bring I think a pretty good chance of rain into the northern plains as this jet stream buckles. There will be a chance I think for some pretty good rainfall. The heat will mostly stay a little further south. June storms difficult to forecast because they're random and a little bit of a cooling trend.